in the Sunday afternoon, when I should have been at the Sunday school, my father took me to the Barras. Oh, I love the Barras. I still love the Barras. Pair of pair of pairs. Get your lovely apples here. There's one, Mrs. There's two. There's three. Hall for a tenner. Cherries for a hairy. <laughs> Fluors. <laughs> she doesn't get that. <laughs> and then we would take the stuff home, you see, and my mother would say, Where did you get the apples? <laughs> They're all chipped. They're not even washed. I hope you didn't give them one of them to that Wayne. Ah, you got them in the barras, didn't you? Ah, yeah, I know you did. In the midden with them. My mother wasn't a hoarder. She had a season ticket to the midden. <laughs> but you know, in those days, art deco was the style. I mean, it was the fashion. Nowadays, you'd pay a fortune for it because it's antique. But in those days, Everybody's windows were the same. And in the window they may have, they might have had the, the little boy with the basket standing like that, with his hands up dangling the three cherries. <laughs> she still got one. <laughs> another, another popular figurine was the lady with the nice dress, the wavy pearl pulling the two greyhounds. <laughs> Now, my father, of course, being an electrician to trade, any ornament he got a hold of, he wired it up and made a lamp out of it. <laughs> you know? So he ended up with a wee boy with a basket standing up, with his hand up like that, dangling three torch bulbs. <laughs> he hadn't made up his mind what he was going to do with the lady with the nice dress, the wavy pair and pulling the two greyhounds. But he was working in that. <laughs> and of course, in those days, in the 40s, I mean, many people, their homes didn't have any electricity. And my father had a job in the Glasgow Corporation wiring up houses. Now, he would start off by putting the wiring in place, and then he'd put in the light bulbs. And he'd say to the wee woman, turn on your old gas lamp. And the wee woman, she would turn on the gas mantle, and there would be that kind of yellowy, sulfury kind of glow. And then he'd say to the wee woman, sit there, hen, wait you see this. And with a great flourish, my father would switch on the electricity. The wee woman would say, oh my God, would you look at my hoose? <laughs> Of course, my father, being a tradesman, you know, he was always on the lookout for luckies. So he comes home to my mother this night, you see. He says, wait, see us, wait, see us. My father always did that. He never did that. He always did that. <laughs> he says, wait, see us, hey, wait, see us. He says, I was doing up this big house in the West End. I was up in the attic and I found this wee object darty. Wait a minute, I've got it up my duke. <laughs> my mother says, oh my God, you'll go to the jail. <laughs> He says, wait, see us, wait, see us. Now look at that. That's a genuine, genuine Wedgwood vase. Look at the sign at the bottom, hen. CV Wedgwood. What do you think of that? My mother says, I'm no struck. <laughs> God, I'm awful fed up with these old fashioned things. In the midden with it. <laughs> but my father, did not put it in the middle. My father took this genuine Wedgwood vase. He bored a hole in the bottom of it. <laughs> he wired it up and put a shade on it. 
He says, what do you think of that new hen? <laughs> My mother says, aye, that's a bit better now. <laughs> that's a bit more modern looking. 